Hi guys, Siru here with Naritude for Blender and this one I'm gonna show you the true power of decal machine and how deep the rabbit hole goes because it goes bloody deep. Let's say you had a model like this one, spherical or whatever, and you got perfect shading, everything is peachy and all you need is some panels, you know, like sci-fi panels or cuts or whatever, some separation on the mesh. Let's say you have a plane or a, or a spaceship and you want some panels and wings that have you know some kind of a deformation going on and cutting this would be problematic because cutting a mesh that actually has a perfect shading will introduce some artifacts right then again you would need to create panels which means you know it's a lot of work you can do it with few clicks with decal machine so let me show you these two are literally panels you know i could just you know hide them and underneath you have you know sphere this quickly stuff by the way is a result of um of the subdivision modifier so if i switch it on you know everything is fine yeah anyway let me show you what i mean so let me let me you know let me grab this sphere and duplicate it here and let me actually uh, show you how to uh, get it done so what you want is to have some kind of a geo and a geo and then you can use another geo as a cutter so it can be cube your custom shape the same one that you you know you you want to cut through so let's just duplicate this sphere you know to make it easy okay so i'm gonna grab this sphere and i'm gonna select this sphere and let me just turn my screencast key so you can see what i'm doing so i'll select this one hold shift select this one and then go to d and slice all you need to do and now this will create a panel on top of this um, sphere now you see that first of all the panel is not super high res because the sphere itself is not super high, high res right so the panel will conform to the shape of the sphere you can see the shape actually is faceted nonetheless if you wanted to create a low poly object this is how you know how you do it now what you can do with the panel is amazing we can first of all change the material of the inner part you can change the material of the um of um of one of the edges okay or the other of the edges so you can change left right or the middle okay you can change all three materials and i'll show you how to use it in practice in, in just a few seconds but let's say that you wanted to create something like this but in a higher resolution in the same place okay so what you need is a higher res mesh so let's apply sub d to this sphere so i'm going to apply a two level subdivision uh, using um control 2. now let's say i wanted to cut in the same in the same place so all you need to do is go to d decal machine options and um, select the get back up which will recreate this cutter now you need to of course sub the cutter as well and let's delete the original panel and let's repeat the operation slice and this will you know um, create a beautiful um, clean panel you might need to do some uh, cleanup occasionally um, this one um, actually got cut very beautifully there's nothing you need to do about it but sometimes you you know you do need to clean uh, a few edges that get too close to one another but you know that's not a big deal but let's say now that you wanted to go a step further and you know create an effect like here that you know you you want to have different material on this side so how do you slice it well it's really easy with decal machine all you need to do is grab this one and go to um, panel cutting you simply cut the panel right and now the sphere physically is cut there is a line going across the sphere let me just turn this pass through off there's a line going across the sphere and the edge and you can clean it up using a machine a mesh machine so you go to boolean cleanup and you literally can clean it up with you know one movement of the mouse which will connect all the dots the shading is not going to be perfect but you remember you got a panel running on it right so now what i can do is go to the sphere right uh, to edit mode hover up mouse over these faces in face mode press l to select these faces add material right so this the silver one assign it and now if i click on the panel and press reapply it will reapply the silver mod to this edge to this inner edge yeah and now you can see that you have this beautiful cutout um you know with perfect shading all around you see now there is a small issue in here probably double verts or verts being too close to one another i'm guessing it's double verts uh somewhere here there you go let's just merge them together and bob's your uncle no not yet bob is not our uncle yet we need to fix this vert here this one 
There we go. Now, in addition to all this, you can change different stuff in here. So, for example, you can change um, you can change patterns, right? So, you, if you go to adjust and hold control, you can change between different patterns uh, that you have saved. Um, they come with decal machine, by the way, but you can create your own. In addition to all this, you can change the width. So, if you go to adjust and press W, you can change the width of this panel. And the coolest part about it is that the uh, decal machine will actually remember the settings, right? So, let me just switch off the sub D for a second here. Uh, decal machine will remember the settings. So, if I'm going to um, use the get backup option, right? And you know, change the size of the sphere and let's apply the scale and let's cut it again. So D and slice, it will cut exactly the same panel, um, you know, in here. So you can recreate the same width and, and pattern and everything, um, you know, with a sec second cut, which is extremely useful. You can see some shading issues in here that needs to be fixed, but it's basically, you know, and uh, this is what you're gonna do. I mean, sub. That's why I had the sub D run in here, which was, you know, solving it to a to an extent. Where is it here? And there you go. See, sub D solving the shading issue. Now, if you want to avoid these squiggly lines, right? All you need to do is simply apply the sub D before cutting the mesh. So before you slice the mesh with the panel, you need to apply the sub D because it's been sliced and then sub D, which means it actually stretches the material around. So, you know, or you can just readjust the width of the of the panel, which is, you know, the same thing. So, boom, it's gone, right? So, depending on what you want and, you know, what kind of effect you're going to go for. But anyway, guys, you, you will need to uh, fix a bit of... Uh, uh, if you actually physically cut this sphere, you will need to um, work on some, on some shading problems. Uh, there are ways of doing it. For example, you could use a normal transfer from... Um, mesh machine and you know you could reconstruct the uh, the perfect shading on that sphere anyway guys that's it for the video hope you enjoyed it give us a like and sub if you did uh, as usual links to machine store and hard ops and box cutter stores on gumroad and blender market in the video description so if you need to buy these add-ons go through the links and you're gonna help me as well thanks for watching catch you in the next video